My friends, Renault's new, well, Alpine, right, sub-brand of Renault, the new Alpine hot hatch. It's like a, a Clio 182, whatever they're called, the cup model. Remember those? Yeah, um, you probably don't. But anyhow, that was a cool little hot hatch. The new Alpine hot hatch is going to be like a different version of that, an electric version with a fair bit more power, a fair bit more performance, and a hell of a lot more style. I'm already a fan. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. We've just seen some spy photos of this car, so therefore, it appears as though it will, in fact, come out next year. Um, Renault haven't had a good hot hatch now for a few years. Their recent one has been kind of a bit of a, a failure. In the past, Renault's hot hatches were great, but they've not been so good lately. This may revive the company's hot hatch aspirations. The new Renault 5, it looks the goods. It looks really, really nice. The production version of the Alpine A290B concept. I'm just going to say A290 because that's, it says underscore B. I don't know what that means. It's said to come with a single electric motor producing around 270 horsepower. Now, I'm not sure this is true. There may be a dual motor version as well. Either way, though, this is a small car. It's going to be lightweight. They're focusing on keeping the weight light. That's the whole point of this company, Alpine. That's what the company is about, having the most purest form of vehicle. Lightweight is what they go after. Now, can we say that about electric cars right now? Not many. There's not a whole lot of lightweight vehicles. I mean, Tesla Model 3, it's not exactly lightweight, but it's about the same weight as a C-Class Mercedes-Benz, which obviously it competes with. So EVs don't have to be heavier than internal combustion vehicles. If you put a really energy dense battery in this vehicle, you could get plenty of range, all the range you need with a relatively small battery pack. Will Renault do that? Will Alpine do that? Well, I don't know. The hot hatch version of the upcoming Renault 5 EV called the Alpine A290 has been seen driving around. And this hatch will be distinguished from the Renault R5 thanks to a com comprehensively redesigned body kit, which I think is gonna look really good in the flesh, plus more power, a better chassis setup for turning, and of course, that very much coveted Alpine badge. I don't know about you, but I've always liked Alpine. I just have a, a bit of a thing for Alpine. A lot of sports cars, classic brands, have that bit of a nostalgia around them. Alpine certainly does. The camouflage covers every inch of the vehicle, so we really can't get a good look of what, it's going to, what it will look like, but you can see the Renault 5, and of course, the concept it should look similar to the concept we've been told. And as you can see, the concept looks just balls to the wall insane. I love it. I mean, to me, this is maybe the coolest looking hot hatch ever made. Can you think of something that looks cooler than that? Maybe the Delta Integral. That's pretty cool too. Anyhow, unlike the three-door hatchback concept, the production A290 will actually be more practical. It'll be a five-door body style. That's an improvement, I think, anyway. This adds more practicality to the car and avoids unnecessary development costs over the standard R5. That's, in my opinion, a good decision. Keep the price lower. The model will deviate from the concept's radical three-seat interior. The, the concept's interior is just a bit ballistic, but would be cool if they made it. But it will go for a more sensible five-seat layout, basically the same layout as the standard Renault 5. However, of course, it will have things like aluminium pedals and sports steering wheel, that kind of stuff. We'll have a fake manual transmission, one of those pretend ones we're seeing in lots of different models of EVs. I think they're ridiculous, but anyhow, no, I don't think it will. The first fully electric production model of Alpine will be based on the CMF BEV, in other words, CMF electric vehicle architecture, and is expected to be available in two power outputs. It'll come with a 52 kilowatt hour battery pack and a single electric motor giving the car 268 horsepower, which is 200 kilowatt. Now, apparently, power will go to the front wheels. I'm a bit torn on this. Car manufacturers recently have said it's actually better for EVs to put the motor in the rear rather than the front, and they've given numerous reasons why that is the case. In fact, even manufacturers like Volvo and Polestar have said, we're changing from front-wheel drive to rear-wheel drive because it's actually better for packaging, for handling, for numerous reasons. I mentioned those in one of my videos. I went into detail what those reasons are. But anyhow, 
Apparently, they want to try and kind of copy that nostalgic front-wheel drive hot hatch concept. So I get where they're coming from. The Alpine A290 will arrive sometime in the second half of 2024. Apparently, it will be launched in the second quarter of next year. I've been waiting for the Renault 5. I just think it looks fantastic, and I really hope it sells well because hopefully people stop buying the Renault Zoe and they buy the Renault 5 because the Renault Zoe has a one-star safety score. It's not a very safe car. Anyway... Auto car reports, prices will start from around 40,000 euros. So maybe approximately 43, 44,000 US dollars. That's a massive jump on the price of the Renault 5, which is 25,000 euros or 27,000 US dollars. Pro probably it sounds like a 13,000 to 18,000 US dollar increase in price of the R5. Hopefully it's a lot better. Because we need a really good hot hatch to say to all these naysayers, you know, these people who love hot hatches and they say, electric can't do it, they can't do it, they can't give us the hot hatch, it, it can't be done. We need something like this to shut those guys up. Now, the MG4 is to some degree doing that already. The, the dual motor all-wheel drive MG4 is going to be tough competition for this Alpine. MG4 is obviously a bigger car. It's got all-wheel drive. It's not actually, it's a pretty good price. It's around about 45,000 US dollars for the all wheel drive, basically Ferrari beating MG4. It can do zero to 62 miles an hour in about 3.7 seconds, 3.67 around there. It's very fast, relatively affordable. So that's going to be a tough one, a tough competitor for the new Alpine. I'm going to guess it's going to go after a different type of customer, more of a connoisseur type customer. What are your thoughts? Would you consider one? Let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.